Hello friends. In this video tutorial, we will learn how to insert or add data into MySQL database by using Vue JavaScript and Axios package with PHP script. In previous tutorial, we have seen how to make model in Vue JavaScript. Now by using that model we will insert or add data by using Vue JavaScript with PHP. For this we have go to index page, and here in model code, at submit button, we have right at the rate click directive is equal to, submit data, so when we have click on submit button, then it will call submit data function. For this we have go to view javascript code, and here in methods section, we have create submit data method, with callback function. Under this function, we have write if statement, and under condition, we have write application dot first name variable is not equal to blank and application dot last name variable value is not equal to blank. This condition will check, if both text box field has some value, then it will execute if block of code, otherwise it will execute else block of code. Suppose both text box or one of the text box has blank value, then it will execute else block of code, and here we have write alert statement, with message like fill all field, it will pop up dialog box in browser with this message. Suppose both text box has value, then it will execute if block of code, and here we have write if statement, and under condition, we have write application dot action button variable value is equal to insert. If this condition true, then it will execute if block of code, and here we have write axios dot post method, with two argument. In first argument, we have write file name, to which we want to send request, so here we have write action.php file name. And in second argument, we have to define which data we want send to server, so here first we have write action variable, with insert as value. Same way we have write first name variable, and in value we have write application dot first name variable and last name variable and in value we have write application dot last name variable so this variable has been defined which will be sent at the time of axios request after this we have write then callback function this function will be called if Axios request has been completed successfully, and it will receive data in JSON format. Under this function, we have write application dot my model variable is equal to false. It will remove model from web page. For display latest inserted data. Here we have write application dot fetch all data function, it will display latest inserted data on web page. For clear value of first name text box, here we have write application dot first name variable is equal to blank value. And same way for clear last name text box value. Here we have write application dot last name variable is equal to blank value. Lastly for pop up success message. Here we have write alert statement with response dot data dot message. 
it will pop up success message on web page. Now we have moved to write PHP script in action.php file, and here we have already make database connection, and here Axios request data has been received in JSON format, and converted into PHP array object, which has been stored in dollar received data variable. So, here we have directly write if statement, and under condition, we have write dollar received data, variable with action variable value is equal to insert. If this condition true, then it will execute if block of code. Under this block, we have write dollar data variable is equal to array. In first key, we have write double colon first name, and in value we have write dollar received data variable with first name object. And in second key, we have write double colon last name, and in value, we have write dollar received data variable with last name object. So, this way we have store Axios request data in dollar data variable. Next, we have write dollar query variable is equal to insert into sample table with table column like first name, last name with values like double colon first name and double colon last name. This query will insert data into sample table. Below this query, we have write dollar statement variable is equal to dollar connect variable with prepare statement and under this we have write dollar query variable, it will make query for execution. After this, for query execution, we have write dollar statement variable with execute method and under this we have write dollar data variable it will execute insert query and it will insert data into sample table now we have write dollar output variable is equal to array and in key we have write message and in value we have write data inserted message After this, we want to send this data to Axios request, so here we have write echo statement, with JSON encode function, and under this we have write dollar output variable, it will send data to Axios request in JSON format, so here our code is ready, now we have check output in browser. Friends first we have refresh web page, so here we can see data in HTML table, and above table, we can see add button. So, first we have click on add button, after click on add button, here we can see model has pop up in browser, and in model we can see two text box with one insert button. First we have directly click on insert button, then here we can see one message like fill all fields, has been pop up in browser, so here validation working properly. Now we have field data in first name text box, and last name text box, after this we have click on insert button, after click on insert button. Here we can see data inserted success message has been pop up in browser. After inserting of data, here in HTML table, we can see last inserted data has been displayed without refresh of web page. So here in this part, 
we have discussed how to insert or add data into MySQL table by using Vue JavaScript with PHP script. And in next part, we will learn how to edit or update MySQL table data by using Vue JavaScript with PHP.